Hey everyone, Christina here, and I am very excited for the video this morning. This is my last smoothie in my Oster blender. Um, this was one of the really great purchases that I made, I think it was about 10 years ago I purchased this blender. This is an amazing blender. Oster is a great company. Um, I remember a hand mixer that my grandmother had that was over 40 years old and was still working when I was in high school and it was an Oster. So a uh, very high quality construction. The outside is plastic, but all of the pieces are metal. So the base of this is really heavy. And you know, it's a good solid glass. Obviously it's lasted me 10 years. But the reason why I'm excited that this is my last smoothie in this blender is because as I've continued on my health journey and I've started to incorporate things like hemp seed or flax seed in my smoothies, this blender doesn't do the greatest job mixing and you know pulverizing those small seeds. It does a great job on regular smoothies with fruit, with vegetables, so... I'm excited that this is my last one in this blender. So I'm gonna go grab my spinach and my spring mix, which I am using as my greens and also some avocado to add a little creaminess to this. And I will be back in just a second. So I am starting this smoothie off with some almond coconut blend. Uh, this is the unsweetened variety. This I believe is, this is the vanilla flavor which I am gonna stop purchasing in the future because it has quote unquote natural flavors. And it does have a lot more ingredients than just almond milk, coconut milk, water. So since I'm getting a new blender, my Vitamix is coming today, I am gonna to start making my own almond milk. So I'm gonna to try to use up what I have here. So I'm gonna do a cup and a half about of almond milk there we go that looks good and then i'm also going to add in one tablespoon of mct oil normally i would just add a teaspoon in but be perfectly honest i went a little overboard with the almonds last night so mct oil is going to be my friend today then i have one teaspoon of hemp seed, one teaspoon of red flax seed. I'm going to do one cup each of the spring mix. I'm also going to put in uh, two teaspoons of, this is uh, just raw stevia powder, because with the avocado and the greens, um, the fruit just really doesn't give it enough sweet because obviously being keto, I can't use bananas or other sweet fruit. As you can see here, I have a half a cup of blackberries and a quarter cup of blueberries, which are totally keto. The blackberries are fresh, the blueberries are frozen, and then I also have a quarter cup of mango chunk. Now I know this isn't keto, but I've had these in my freezer for about nine months now. They're starting to get a little ice collected on them. And since they're not just completely dead, I wanna use them up while I can. So I also have half of an avocado here. I used half in the smoothie yesterday. And I'm gonna put half in today's smoothie. This will help for the texture of the creaminess that I would normally get by using a banana. And as much as I love avocado flavor, it's just not my favorite thing in a smoothie, hence the two teaspoons of the stevia powder. So now this spring mix is on. It's starting to wilt a little bit. So, or get a little soft, it's not really wilting. So I'm gonna use a stuffed cup of this. And I'll put it in a smoothie later tonight too. 
and then one cup of organic baby spinach. Both of these I got at Costco in these big value packs. These are great. Um, I do a lot of smoothies in the spring and summer. So, so one cup of spinach as well. And I use them in salads as well. Sometimes I'll do a blend of the spring mix and the spinach. Other times, like if I'm doing a chicken curry salad, I'll just do it on the baby spinach. So it really kind of depends on the type of salad that I'm eating. Sorry, can't leave that on the floor. Have to toss it. All right. So now we're going to put in the fruit. I've got my spatula handy because this thing constantly needs to be scraped. I'm going to put this up on smoothie because the only uh, bit of frozen is the blueberry and the mango. So not a lot of frozen items in there uh, to use the frozen drink feature. I will probably switch it up a little bit just because of those hemp seeds, or not the hemp seeds, but the uh, flax seed. Those seem to really have a hard time in this blender. So don't worry, I'll mute you. Here you go. So it actually did pretty good today. I think adding that little bit of extra milk, normally I only use, I start with a cup of the almond milk and then I kind of go from there. Um, this blender, the sides of it has these little glass ribbing on the inside. And so I'm just making sure if that's sweet enough. Yep, that'll do. All right, has some glass ribbing on the inside of the blender, so it makes it difficult sometimes for things to pass by. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this. This is a 24 ounce um, ball mason jar. I absolutely love these for my big smoothies and I'm getting it all over the place. The other thing that's hard to do in this blender, and a lot of food does get wasted, I'll show you here, is down under the blades. It's really hard to clean and get smoothie mix out from underneath those blades. Now, as you can see, it has these glass ribs in it. And I notice a lot of the time that some of the smaller food particles get caught on that and they don't blend up as well. So. So that is it. This is my last smoothie in my old Oster blender. Mm -hmm. It does taste good and it's really healthy. That's the most important thing. So as soon as I get my new Vitamix, I'll be doing another smoothie recipe to compare. You can see how the seed from the, either the blackberry, some of the flax seed just didn't get ground up very well. So that'll be one of the big differences between this blender and the Vitamix. So I'm really excited to get my Vitamix later today and show you guys how my smoothies turn out. See you later.